Today let's see some quick and easy explosions in Godot. I've done a similar video in Unity by the way, and I think it can be quite useful in case you are in a rush for a game jam or something similar. So let's jump right into this, I just wanna say these videos are possible thanks to my patrons, in case you wanna support me you get access to this project, to these explosions and much much more, it's a huge library, links below. So yeah, I've already done a few variations as you can see. Just make sure you download these textures that I made available for free on the link below. And we can start with an empty node 3D on this plus sign up here and rename it to VFX underscore explosion underscore tutorial for example. I'm just gonna push this up a value of 3 in the Y axis and then with right click we can go ahead and add a GPU particles 3D. We can rename it with double click or F2 to sparks and we need a new particle process material. We need a draw pass for a quad mesh, as you can see. And then a material in geometry. A new standard material 3D. Click here and we can go ahead and say its transparency is alpha. The curl mode, so we can see it from two sides, we can say it's disabled. And on the shading, we can say it's unshaded, so it isn't affected by the lights. Let's turn on Use as Albedo in Vertex Color, so the particle system can influence the color of the material. And in Albedo, let's go ahead and in Quick Load, assign the Flare 00 texture. And that's essentially it for this material. Now up here on the Particle Process material, we want to go ahead and first let's increase the amount up here to 20 particles, for example. The lifetime of the particle can be 0.6. Let's increase the explosiveness so it becomes a burst essentially to 1. 64 FPX. They are all overlapped, so let's change the shape to a sphere with a radius of 0.2. We want this to be a burst and explosion, so let's add velocity, initial velocity of 20 and 25. Here we go. They are only going to one side, as you can see, that's because of the direction. We can say the spread is 180, and it goes all around. Let's already say the gravity is minus 20, so they go down a little bit. Let's take care of their size and let's stretch them on scale. Minimum we can say 0 0.2 and a maximum of 1. Perhaps it's a bit too much, we will see. But let's create a new curve X, Y and Z texture, so we can stretch this quad. We want to create a new curve for the X, for the Y and for the Z. On the Z we can already say, right in the beginning, we want the key all the way up at 1. On the Y, we want to say the max value is 5, and then push this key all the way up. And on the X, add a key in the beginning and push it all the way up, and as you can see we get stretched particles. Let's add a key at the end and push it down on the X, and do the same on the Y curve. Exactly, so they shrink a little bit towards the end of their lifetime. Now we need to align this to their velocity vector, so they don't all face up. We can do it in the particle flags align Y, let's turn it on. And boom, here we go, we have a burst of particles, looking good. Yeah, they are a little bit too stretched, so I'm gonna say the scale minimum is 0 0.15 and the scale maximum is 0 0.5. Here we go, much better. I'm gonna collapse the scale module and open the color module. And on the Raw tab, I'm gonna say 5 for the R and 2 for the G. And here we go, an orange bright color looking good. I forgot to mention, but on my scene I have a world environment with some post-processing effects like a glow, for example. Let's add another child node now, another GPU particles 3D, but this time for a quick flash. Let's call it flash. We want a process material, a new particle process material. For the draw pass, we want a quad. And for the material, let's create a new standard material 3D. It's pretty much the same, alpha for transparency. Call mode disabled, we don't want any shading. Unshaded, exactly. Vertex color, use as albedo. And albedo, we want the quick load and select flare 00. The only difference is down here in billboard, we want to, as you can see, they are not facing the camera. Let me just say the sparks is one shot, they are always being triggered, alright. As you can see, yeah, the flash isn't facing the camera, we can do it down here 
on billboard you can say the mode is particle billboard and turn on keep scale otherwise we cannot change the scale of this quad up here we only want one particle in the amount with a lifetime of 0.1 let's already say 60 fpx and explosiveness is at 1 so it's a burst essentially let's open the particle process material say the gravity is 0 so it is static and we want to increase this to 4 in the scale we want a new curve texture that goes from big to small we only need to push the last key down and fix a little bit the handles sorry if this is flashing way too fast we can turn on one shot up here the way we test this is by turning on emitting now let's just select the color for example on the raw section we can use 2.5 1 and then 0 0.5 for the blue here we go that's a quick flash of only 0 0.1 for the lifetime if we select both of these particle systems and enable and disable emitting we can see it in action sometimes you need to wait a little bit so the particle system resets anyway let's create a new GPU particles 3D now for the fire I'm gonna call it fire but it is not really a fire it's just a code name new particle process material for the draw passes we want a quad mesh again and in the material override instead of creating a new one let's go to the flash and down here on this arrow we want to say save I'm gonna create a new folder for materials and I'm gonna call this one mat underscore flare zero zero and then press save anything that uses this material if you change it it will be affected now on the fire we can do a quick load on the material override in geometry and select our flare zero zero here we go looking good it's already facing the camera in this case on the particle process material actually let's go up here and increase the amount to 13 more or less and the time the lifetime 0 0.55 explosiveness at 1 and 60 frames per second on the particle process material the time the lifetime randomness can be 1 so it is random the lifetime and it's a sphere for the shape of 0 0.3 radius and the gravity we can already say it's small like minus 2 we want this to go all around so let's increase the spread and the direction to 180 and let's play with the scale I'm gonna use 0 0.75 and 1.5 and then a new curve texture so it goes from big to small I'm gonna push this key to the bottom and adjust the handle and for the color let's first create a new gradient texture 2D say the first key is white but the last key also white but with an alpha of zero so it fades throughout the end of the lifetime of the particle let's increase the color the R to 5 the G to 2 and that's essentially it let's just turn on one shot up here select everything and enable and disable emitting so we can see how it is there we go it's looking like something what I'm gonna do is say that the fire which is not a fire I'm gonna increase the radius to 0 0.4 and add initial velocity between 0 0.5 and 2 select everything and here we go that's starting to look like something like I said very easy and quick explosions let's add one more thing another child node for the smoke another GPU particles 3D let's call it smoke yes indeed we need the new particle process material draw pass for a quad mesh and in geometry for the material we can do a quick load and select the flare 00, zero. on the particle process material it's going to be pretty much the same but the amount for now it's going to be 10 and it's going to leave a little bit longer than the fire like 0 0.8 explosiveness at 1 60 frames per second and 0 0.5 for the lifetime randomness and then for the shape we also want a sphere with the same radius more or less like 0.4 direction 180 for the spread gravity of 0 by the way and initial velocity of 0 0.5 and 2 so it moves a little bit and now what's important is that the scale is a little bit bigger than the fire like 3 and 4 and then we need a 
new curve texture where it shrinks towards the end, exactly like this. And that's essentially it, now we only need to say the color is black and we kind of have that fake smoke. This is very quick and easy explosions. Let's turn on one shot and see if we select everything, enable and disable the emitting and here we go. Very quick and easy explosions for you in case you are in a hurry for something like a game jam or you just need a placeholder effect in Godot. That's essentially it guys. I hope you have enjoyed this very quick tutorial. I would recommend you to try to add a shockwave. As you can see it really adds that punchy feeling. It's also a very quick particle system you can add and it's a cool exercise for you in case you want to expand a little bit your explosion. Well, I hope I've helped you. In case you want to help me and keep these videos coming for Godo, I would really appreciate your support on Patreon. You can get all of these and much, much more projects and assets for your games. Links below. I want to say thank you to each patron that supported me last month. And as usual, a quick shout out to the top tier patrons, which are Alberto Sageres, Alexander Brazy, Alan Alstead, Aviato Bali, Cyber Cradle, CZ Chai, Daniel Schmidt, Danielius, David Blissett, Diaku, Diego Marx, Doom, Eric Arner, Fang Striker, Frosty40, Rev Lab, Jared Billy, KC Miller, Lee Ann Holt, Lutuli, Matt Moran, Max, Mike Bell, Mikolai Adamski, Milos, Nat Sims, Nikolai Yalnazov, Oitsk, Pradip Sen, Radioactive Bullfrog, Revenant Games, RVR, Cyan, Sean Aguilar, Travis McCollum, Very Suta, Whatever Marta, Will Poilian, Begina Zero, Dong Mao Dong, Jim Pyong Ling, and Min Jae Kim. So, thank you all very much for your support, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next video for Godo. Thanks and bye.